Yeah, they are crossing and I'm seeing a few people struggling a little bit, but I'm also seeing a lot of people excited and full of energy. And that just lets you know, we really run the gamut here at the Peachtree, at the AJC Peachtree Road Race. You know, you have a little bit of everybody, but in case you guys are just joining us here, we already had some champions to cross the finish line with the wheels races this morning. Let's recap. Yeah, we had an amazing field, but Tatiana McFadden, eight times winner she came here and she showed her stuff she's going to Tokyo this summer and you know she is right on her game she is I think a 17 time Paralympic medalist Wow so she's gonna go back and hopefully bring some more hardware home from the University of Illinois yeah. where I'll tell you the wheelchair racers have had great significance and importance historically at that school over the decades so when really she has. was crossing the finish line I was just looking at the strength in her arms I was like look at those strong arms arms oh yeah and she was just absolutely flawless yeah I, I, I talked to her afterwards and I you know we're getting ready for a huge summer and a huge fall of racing and this woman is gonna be busy you know there's so many races back to back to back I was next gonna fall. say and just to keep going yep. like that yeah and so she's excited though but she said first and foremost Tokyo that's what's on her mind she's got a lot of pressure on her she knows that people are always watching what she does but she holds it and she is so graceful just a talented athlete. I think one that we will know forever. And the men's winner was no stranger to us either. <laughs> no, four-time winner now. Daniel Romanchuk, you know, he is such a great story as well. I mean, 6'11 arm span they were talking right. about. I was like, whoa! I know. And just such a character in yeah. his own right, you know? He's excited to be here, excited to win. And his family is always right there with him. He also is going back to Tokyo. I love hearing about his story and what he's got in store. Jeff, I looked at his arms in a totally different way. I was like, <laughs> oh my goodness. And they were just going. And when he said 6'11", I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like, what does that even look like yeah. when you actually right. span it out? Very impressive, very impressive. Well, they kicked off the morning for us, and it was a great, great way to get the day started for and us, it's, for it's, sure. It's always different also during an Olympic year. I mean, you really see the great Paralympians. They seem to be at a different level than in years that are non-Olympic years. Do you agree with that? I mean, I think they really turn it on. They're sharpening up. They're coming off the Olympic trials that were actually in my home state in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I think that they're peaked right now. They're going to have to hold that peak for a long time, which is really hard. Mm. In the U.S., the Paralympics and the Olympic trials, they are right before you basically have to take off. So, yes, we still have six weeks, but they have to make the team, which is always really hard. Oh, wow. So they have to hold this peak. So, yeah, you're right, Jeff. They, they always look so sharp because they have to be sharp but hopefully they go home now have two three weeks of solid yeah. training and then they can get over to to tokyo and really you know and, bring on the heat and this is marked the 40th anniversary of the shepherd's wheelchair event you know it began in 1982 and we have seen a metamorphosis of of this event over the years uh that that really looks different from the way it first began i mean the the equipment is different the athletes are different and and the training is so different too. I mean, I, I think in the early 80s, when this began here, there there was an expectation that, that nobody was quite sure what it was going to be. Mm, well, listen, the, the technology and the equipment is changing for the wheelers, but it's changing for the runners as well. I don't know if you guys follow the sport so closely to know, but all the records are falling because of the new technology in the shoes. Oh, wow. So everyone from sprinters, jumpers, throwers, you know, all of it up to distance runners, everyone is running running so much faster and the pandemic gave every shoe company the opportunity to follow suit from the shoe company that originally brought out these super shoes ah. so very interesting you'll see yeah. them all at the olympics wearing super shoes that's what they're calling them. super oh. shoes mm -hmm. all right